Curious George and the Dinosaur by Margaret and H. A. Race. Jimmy's class was taking a field trip to the museum and George was going along. We're glad to have you, George, said Mr. Chauncey, the teacher, but don't get into trouble. At the museum, Mr. Chauncey began to explain one of the displays. These rocks are millions of years old. The students weren't listening. This is boring, said a student. It sure is, said another. When is lunchtime? asked a third. George wandered off. He didn't find rocks very interesting either. But in the next room, George saw something very interesting. It was a huge skeleton. What a long tail. It was too much for George to resist. He stepped over the rope and jumped onto the tail. He climbed down. Then he climbed up. He climbed up and up until he reached the skeleton's head. Just then, Mr. Chauncey in the class came into the room. Look at the dinosaur, said Jimmy. And look at George, he shouted. Ride him, George, cried a girl. The guards heard the noise. Get down from there, ordered one of them. I'm going to get the director, said the other. George was scared. Is that how they rode dinosaurs in the old days? A girl asked Mr. Chauncey. Well, no, he said. Tell us more about the dinosaurs, someone said. George was curious. What was a dinosaur? Well, said Mr. Chauncey, the earth was once full of huge creatures like this. <laughs>